What's up guys, Jason Lore here with Jason Lore Photography and Film. So today I am actually pretty excited to share with you guys uh, something I just bought the other day. And it's something I've been wanting to buy ever since I was a little kid, but just couldn't find it for the life of me. Uh, I searched all of Target, Toys R Us, and Walmart, but it was nowhere to be found. But now, thanks to the power of technology and also Amazon, I was able to finally find this guy. This is a Dragon Dagger from the hit TV series uh, Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, to be exact. The original Power Rangers, if you will, back in the 90s. So this uh, belonged to the uh, Green Ranger, uh, which is uh, Tommy Oliver, played by Jason David Frank, uh, who is actually a martial artist in real life, too. So he really uh, brought that character into life. But the cool thing about this is that uh, he uses this dagger not only for... Uh, combat, but he also uses it to summon the Dragon Zord, which is what he uses to fight against uh, all the bad guys as giant monsters. So just really quick, let's look at the design of this. So uh, starting with the handle, so we got the little three little trumpet looking uh, buttons up here for when you're playing the music, and then uh, same thing with this little gold button right here that's also part of uh, you know uh, the sound as well. So. Um, moving up, we got the uh, two power coins on each side. Uh, one side is like just a solid uh, power coin. And then on the other side is the uh, power coin. But if you look closely, you can see the little holes in here where the sound and the music is going to be coming from. And then going upwards, uh, we got the blades. Uh, on the blades, I noticed that it's not just uh, something clean, but there's actually some little rough uh, textures on here to make it look like it's been in battle. So very much like the TV series, uh, he's always battling monsters. So I can see why like they decided to make it look at uh, like that. Uh, so right now on this side is uh, just a lot of uh, holes like, uh, you know, for, like I said, like a clarinet. And then on the bottom is pretty much the same thing, like a clarinet as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly what they were gearing for, but hopefully so, because like I said, I used to play the clarinet. So as far as like what it's made out, of, it's all plastic. So it's very light and it looks pretty well made. So I'm actually pretty impressed by that. There's three different modes to this. Uh, I came to find out like the first two modes are pretty much the same, which is all freestyle. So meaning like you can push all the buttons and they'll make their own different uh, sounds like in an instrument. So. And so on. But uh, if you look at the manual that came with it, there's actually uh, instructions of how you can actually play it. There's only one song you can play on there, which is the uh, tune that uh, summons out the Dragon Zord. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you play the tune correctly, it'll not only play it again, but you actually hear the sound of the dragon zord as it's rising out of the ocean. So let's move on to the, the third and final uh, mode, which is just simply uh, when you press on one of the buttons, like it's gonna play its own tune automatically without you having to play it. So let's try it out. Okay, that's one. Of course, the signature, and then... And of course, you gotta have the theme song. And of course, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song. Okay, so it looks like from the manual, there's actually uh, other uh, themes that you can actually play on here too. So uh, it would involve pushing uh, or holding this button down here, the little gold button, and then just pressing it again and it'll give you like a different tune. So that's kind of a chill tune. I kind of dig that. All 
I dig it. Gosh, somehow rock and roll and Power Rangers just totally go well with each other. That's an interesting one. Feels like I was at a fiesta. <laughs> so of all those three, I gotta say, uh, this is definitely the winner right here. Sorry, that just makes me want to go into battle. And like I said, somehow Rock and Roll and Power Rangers just go so well together. Okay, so one last thing about this that is pretty awesome is that it has the ability to do this. So it actually lights up, and on top of that, you can actually uh, hear the uh, glowing, uh, kind of like a laser effect, kind of like a lightsaber, if you will. I mean, I'll, I never really seen the Dragon Dagger do this in the show, but I just still think it's pretty awesome, and that it's uh, also included, you know, with the dagger as well. So on the edge of the the dagger, you can actually see the light glowing here too, which is pretty cool. So it just makes it a little more mystical and magical too. And let's check it out even in the light. Yeah, so even in the light, um, you know, it's probably better in the dark, but even in the light, you can still see the, uh, the green light a little bit. That's actually pretty cool. And the way it powers down, like it actually goes down instead of like just suddenly like turning itself off so I I like that it does that so pretty cool so my overall thoughts of the dragon dagger so this is uh, a really unique uh, design uh, even though it's made out of plastic I'm really surprised that you know it came out the way it is and also the features that come with it so like I said you can either switch it to the mode where you play uh, the music by yourself or you can switch it to the other modes which is uh it plays the music for you so i like that it comes with a lot of features and of course uh the fact that it can also light up too so uh this is great if you're definitely going to be cosplaying for like the comic con events or any like uh cosplay conventions or anything like that so this is a really good prop for that and it's very light now the downside of this is that it can be pretty pricey uh some websites uh they actually overpriced these so much especially given that it's so popular right now and also um again it's made out of plastic which uh i really wish it could have been like you know the more uh harder plastic but you know what it's again a toy and that's really what you're going to be getting when you do buy a toy so if you're a big mighty Morphin power ranger fan and you like to cosplay a lot then i would go with the lightning collection it's basically a toy but it's definitely a fun toy for those who are big fans of the mighty Morphin power ranger series you know it's got a lot of features on there where you can either play the music by yourself or you can switch it to the mode where it'll play all the music for you and Again, it can actually uh, light up as well. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, again, if you're doing a lot of cosplaying, then this will be good to carry around with you as well and, you know, be the Green Ranger. Now, there is the Legacy Edition, which is a lot more expensive than this one. If you are more of like just, you know, collecting and displaying, then yeah, go for the Legacy Edition because that actually looks pretty, pretty sick. I mean, you know, you got like the shiny metal on it and, you know, it's just so great to like just showcase it in your room or in your house. But again, if you like to dress up a lot or uh, cosplay, as they say, then this is definitely the one I would go for. So just uh, something to think about if you guys are deciding whether you want to get the legacy or the lightning collection. But otherwise, for me, I would definitely uh, start off with the uh, lightning collection and then eventually get the legacy so 
but that's just me. I've been a big fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers since I was a kid. I was a 90s kid actually growing up, so I feel so much like a kid again. So I um, am pretty excited about this. All right, guys, so that's it for this review on the Dragon Dagger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. If you guys have any more questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to check out more of my work too, you can find them on my social media. And if you guys haven't done so either, definitely click on that subscribe button down there. That way you guys can get more updates on any events and projects that I'll be involved in. But until then, guys, thank you as always. This is Jason Lord with Jason Lord Photography and Films, bringing art stories and entertainment.